This is our example for uh, integration with partial fractions and we're going to use these steps from the last video. So step one, we're going to factor the denominator of this. So um, we're just going to forget about the integral for now. So yeah, this color is too bright. Factor the, not the denominator, this is step one. Pull out x squared, and we'll get x squared times x minus two. Step two, we're gonna identify the factor types we have. So we have a factor x squared, and this falls into the repeat linear category. Oh shoot, sorry. Um, so if we repeat linear, right here, we're gonna have two terms associated with it. We're gonna have a over x, and we are gonna have another constant b over x squared. So we have our first linear factor then we have the linear factor squared and just constant over both. And then we have x minus two, just regular linear. So we're gonna have another constant, we'll call it c over the factor. And now step three was to, well first let's write out this decomposition. Our two x plus four over x squared times x minus 2 equals a over x plus b over x squared plus c over x minus 2. Now step 3 is to um, give these a common denominator. We want this the denominator to be x squared times x minus 2. So we'll need to multiply a by another x on top and bottom, so we get x squared and an x minus 2. So we'll have a x times x minus 2, and for b we'll need to multiply top and bottom by x minus 2. We don't need to multiply by another x because we already have x squared on the bottom. So with repeat factors be sure not to just blindly multiply um, the missing factors. And for c, we'll need to multiply by x squared on top and bottom. And then we can combine all these under one roof, so to speak, or over one roof. This is all over x squared over x minus 2. Now we can set the numerators equal to each other. x plus 4 equals a x x minus 2 plus b x minus 2 plus c x squared. And uh, let's distribute these things. So a x times x is a x squared minus 2 a x plus bx minus 2b plus cx squared. And uh, we can group together the x squared factors. So a plus c x squared. Group together the x factors minus 2a plus bx and the constant factors minus 2b. This is going to be equal to 2x plus 4. 
So we can set the x squared terms together and actually here we have a 0 x squared because there is no x squared term on the left hand side. So 0 will equal a plus c. Setting the linear things together we have 2 equals minus 2a plus b and 4 equals the constants negative 2b. Now we can and that, that was step 5. Step 6 is to and sorry step 6 was also that so so now actually we're on step 7 solve this system of equations we can start with this if 4 equals negative 2b then b has to be negative 4 or negative 2 my bad and we can put that into this equation 2 equals negative 2a minus 2 and we find that a is also negative 2 and since a is a plus c is 0 c has to be negative a so c is negative negative 2 c is just 2 step 8 now we go back to what we had right here two x plus four over x squared times x minus two equals a over x plus b over x squared plus c over x minus two. We know that a is negative two, b is negative two, and c is positive two. And now final step, integrate both sides the integral of 2x plus 4 times x to the third minus 2x squared dx will equal the integral of the right hand side so minus 2 over x minus 2 over x squared minus or plus 2 over I'm sorry this should be x minus 2 2 over x minus 2 dx and integral of uh, this is minus 2 o times 1 minus 1 over x. Integral of that is just ln absolute value of x. And this is minus 2 integral of 1 over x squared, or x to the negative 2. Integral of that is just negative x to the negative 1. And then integral of 2 times 1 over x minus 2. Quick u sub. That's ln absolute value of x minus 2. We have plus c. And simplify this. We have minus 2 ln x plus 2 ln x minus 2. Uh, these minus signs here will combine to make a plus sign. You can write this as 2 over x. And to simplify this to ln, we can factor out 2. And well, ln x minus 2 minus ln x. When we have ln's subtracting, we can just divide what's on the inside. So we can have 2 ln x minus 2 over x plus 2 over x plus c. That is our final result. <laughs>second example for partial fractions so we'll do this one a little quicker quicker um, we're finding the integral of 2x squared minus 3x plus 2 all over x squared plus 1 all squared dx so step one factor the bottom but the bottom is actually already factored which is pretty convenient so step one is done step two we're going to identify our factors, the type of factors. So we actually have repeat quadratic. And for repeat quadratic, we're going to 
have two linear terms with quadratic to the first power, quadratic to the second power. So that's going to give us ax plus b over our quadratic x squared plus 1 to the first power plus another linear term on top, cx plus d over the quadratic to the second power. And step 3, give these common denominators, so 2x squared minus 3x. Uh, let's actually write this out first. First, let's we'll write this out as equal, so And now we give them a common denominator. You want the denominator to be x squared plus 1 squared. We actually just need to change this term. Multiply it on top and bottom by x squared plus 1. And these will have the same denominator, x squared plus 1 squared. And now we can set these numerators equal to each other. So let me put this numerator back up here. So 2x squared minus 3x plus 2 will equal ax plus b times x squared plus 1 plus cx plus d. And let's multiply out this right hand side. So just could use FOIL, ax to the third plus ax plus bx squared plus b will equal uh, plus cx plus d. This equals 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. And next we set these coefficients equal to each other. So let's note that there's no x to the third term here. It's 0x to the third. So for setting our x to the third coefficients equal to each other, we get that, sorry, 0 is equal to a, setting our x squared to terms, I'll write this a different color, 0 equals a, 2 equals our x squared term, b, negative 3 is going to equal our x terms, so a plus c, sorry I didn't factor them out. And then 2 is going to equal, equal our constant, so b plus d. So we already, this is nice because, well, let's do step 7, solve the system. And two of these equations actually give us values. a is 0, b is 2. So now it's a matter of plugging these in. So negative 3 is a plus c. So negative 3 is 0 plus c. c is negative 3. And then 2 equals b plus d, well, b is 2, uh, b plus d, sorry. Um, so d is going to be equal to 0. And now, step 7, we put everything back into our integral, or to our decom decomposed form. So 2x squared minus 3x plus 2 over x squared plus 1 squared equals, yeah, I'll, I'll circle this up here, or box it to see what we're talking about. So, ax plus b over x squared plus 1 plus cx plus d over x squared plus 1 squared. a was 0. So this is, uh, this is 0x, b is 2, so 
So we have 2 over x squared plus 1. C was, sorry, C should be minus 3, not minus 1. So this should be minus 3x. D is 0, so that's gone. Now, we integrate both sides. The integral this. It's going to be the integral of these. So I'll just split up these, this integral over at the back. And let's factor out these constants, actually. So this integral, um, it's, uh, you can see it by recognition. This is the arc tangent. So it's going to be 2 times the inverse tangent of x. And for this guy, we're going to have to use a u substitution. So make our u equal to x squared plus 1. du is 2x dx. We can get a 2 here by multiplying top and bottom by 2. So this whole thing is du. And it's over u squared, or u to the minus 2. This should be 3 halves, sorry. And we're going to be integrating this, so the integral of this, we just add an exponent, u to the minus 1, multiply by that exponent, let's get a plus c out here, 2 inverse tangent x, these negatives will combine, and we'll have 1 over u plus c, well, this will be 1 over x squared plus 1 plus c. That is our final result. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.